Hi, my name is LaShawn J and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review slash rant on the new TLC hit show, Milf Manor. Um, I saw a couple episodes and I've heard about it and I, I, I love it. It's messy, it's drama, it's unorthodox. So this is season one, episode seven. So the, epi the episode opens up with um, Jose and Kelly, they disappear and they run off and they, they, they run off to have their little secret rendezvous at a hotel. So it hasn't even been a full 24 hours that Kelly and the other son has stopped talking and she's already running off with Jose. So her and Jose, they go to the hotel and they're kissing they, she's like, oh, this is beautiful. She was like, so what What made you come back this way? And he was like, well, because of the arguing and yelling and all of that stuff that happened before, I decided that, hey, you know what? I feel like I do kind of have a connection with you. So I really wanted to explore it a little bit more. So they end up spending the night together. Paula, his mom, was texting him, calling him, and just so worried about him and didn't understand what was going on, why he wasn't answering the phone. She's like, he usually answers the phone. He usually tells her if he's spending the night out, but not that night because he had other things on his mind. Paula, she wakes up and she's with the other moms and she's explaining to them like, hey, this is not usual of Jose. You know, they're eating breakfast. And she's like, this is not usual of Jose. He usually comes, he'll usually let me know if he's spending the night out, but Kelly, out of everybody, I'm just so shocked that he spends the night with Kelly because I see Kelly as a friend for him to hang out with and chill and just be friends with, but nothing like to be in a relationship with. I didn't think he would choose her. And from the minute that Kelly and Jose started spending time together, Paula has been trying her best to rip him apart. She was arguing with um, Kelly and she went back and told Jose, hey, this is not the type of woman you need to be with. She's all up in my face. She's attacking me. She made herself look like the victim. And Kelly was just expressing to her, hey, I feel uncomfortable. I mean, she didn't say it like that. This is the way she should have said it. Because the way she said it made it seem like racist and just hateful that somebody's speaking in their native language. She should have just explained, hey, I kind of feel a little uncomfortable. Sometimes I feel like you might be talking about me. Maybe you're not. But that's the way it feels if you can't express yourself in English when you're around a group setting. You have to speak in Spanish. It has to be something that you don't want everybody else to know. And if it's something you don't want everybody else to know, you could have pulled Jose aside and explained to him what you want to tell him. And you could have said it in Spanish why he was aside. You didn't have to say it in a group setting. That does make people feel uncomfortable. But so she has not liked Kelly. She never wanted Kelly for Jose. And she has done everything she could to get him to veer away from Kelly and talk to anybody else in the villa. So she was really shocked and kept asking when he got back to the villa because they were sitting at the table eating breakfast and um, one of the moms pointed out, hey, there go Jose right there. And she was like asking him, what happened? Where did you go? He was like, I just went out to the town to sightsee. And the other mom, she was like, hey, no, 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 no. I saw you sneak off with Kelly. So I'm just like very disappointed. So young, I believe her name is So Young because I'm still new to the show, guys. So bear with me. She gets up, she gets wraps a plate, and she leaves because her and Jose had an incredible date. He's the person that she's really into, and she's like disappointed and hurt because she's like they was just whale watching and they just went scuba diving and everything. So what is going on here? You just had a great date with me. That's how So Young is feeling. You just had this great date with me, and now all of a sudden. You spending a night with Kelly? <laughs> so Su Young says, just typical man. As soon as a woman spreads her leg, they're there. So then the group gets a text, and the text is saying that it's a new game that's gonna be having to be played, and whoever wins the game gets to win a date. So it's a game where they have to pick out out of a basket, the the sons have to pick out the mother's underwear. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. And the mothers have to pick out the son's underwear. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, whoever matches, if the son and the mom pick out the correct underwears, they end up getting a date. Who comes up with 
comes up with these games that people will have to play. These are sons and mothers, and they're playing the weirdest games since I was watching the show, the weirdest games ever. The past episodes, one of the games was telling, they had to pick out a jar of sexual positions and then the sons or another son would come up and perform it in front of the mothers. But what, oh, what about the game where they were blindfolded and was massaging their moms? Or the moms was feel, blindfolded feeling and feeling the body tone or the body, the body structure of their son to pick out which one is their son. Who is coming up with these games? That who's texting them these games? Why not have a host to tell us this? Why are even te they texting them these games? It's ridiculous. The um, laundry basket. The sons went first, and they dump the dirty laundry. That's what the game is called, dirty laundry. They dump it on the floor, and the guys are sifting through it and saying, "Oh, I, I think this one might be my mom's," or "I think this one might be my mom's," or "Does this look like a D cup? I think my mom is a D cup." And Ryan picks up a thong and he starts flossing his teeth with it and everybody's like oh god please no 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 what you think that's funny but it's really not because what if that was your mom's underwear ryan so now you're flossing with your mom's thong something that has been in the crack of her derriere anyway so the mothers go their turn and they go they dump the basket and now they're sifting through it and they're picking up underwears they believe to be their sons and um everybody saw a male thong and they thought it was going to be um harrison's because he's a stripper they get together they show each other what they chose for each other and let them know jimmy and so young ends up winning the game and they win a date and they have to decide which which person is going to go on the date so so Young is telling Jimmy, you know what, hey, um, I really want to do a date with Jose because I really want to understand what's going on here. Does he have a connection with me? Does he have a connection with Kelly? What is going on here? And she was asking her son, hey, so do you have anybody in mind? And he's like, yes, I do. I do have, uh, he has Paula in mind. And, but he sees that she's always with Ryan and he, he's not sure where she stands. And she is the only one he really has a connection with. So his mom was like, you know what? You take this date. I could take another one because she already had a date with Jose. So she lets her son take this date. So Jimmy brings Paula to paddle boat. And, you know, they, they start talking. They get to know each other better. And I really like Jimmy for Paula. I like Ryan, too. But I really like Jimmy. I think they have a better, deeper connection where it could be something longer than most couples with their age gap because it's not just off only on the physical but ryan gets jealous and you can see it in his eyes because he had a blow up the last time with the other girl so ryan gets jealous he's a very jealous type and jimmy and paula went on a date they paddle boated they talk they had fun they um she puts him in the sand she comes in with sand and ice and touches him sensually all over with a feather and they just lay in the sun and listen to the waves and just something that you do with somebody you have a really deep connection with. Something other than physical. So back at the villa, they get another text. And this text says that if they don't have a match, they are at risk to go home. So everybody's on edge. They're like, dang, I don't know if we're a, a match match. I don't know if we're not a match. I don't know how this is going to turn out. So... They show Charlene, Charlene and Harrison in the room. And Charlene is just grilling him. Charlene is like a football coach. She, like he says, it's like she's a coach. Like, and she's just like talking and talking and talking. And he can't even think to even give her a response. That's how much she's talking. And he's like, oh my gosh, you just keep talking. And she's just like, but what about so young? She's trying to drill into him to make him find a connection. And he's trying to tell her, I don't have a connection with anybody. You know what? It's, it just doesn't feel right with nobody. They're not my cup of tea. They're very beautiful. And I love everybody's personality, but it's just not for me. 
And instead of her his mom being very understandable and just saying, you know what? Okay, I understand. It, this is just not something you would do. She just keeps on going and going and going and going. Five hours later. And going. And he just like exploded. He was just like, just be quiet. I'm happy that he was respectful to her. He didn't curse. He knew that he was at a point where he couldn't deal with the constant talking and the constant coming at him. And he just got up and he walked out the door. And that was that was the right thing to do. So he walked out the door. He took a break and he sat there and think. And he was just like, I think this is the end of the road for me on this show. You know, when I first came to the show, it was just something out of my comfort zone. But I did it because, you know what, my mom is a great woman and I do want her to find love. And I think that maybe if I stayed on, it would help her find love because that's what I really wanted out of this show, out of the experience. And he also said that it grew him and his mom closer via the experience, even though that this is the end of the road for him. So he called his mom over and he explained to her, you know what, this is just, the show is not for me. I need to leave. Even though... You know, I tried it. I think these women are beautiful. They have great personalities. This show is just not for me and it's my time is done. So his mom was like, you know what? You know what? I understand. Uh, I'm sad to see you leave. He tells everybody he's leaving. They hug him. They kiss him. They cry and he had to go. It was just not for him. It was just not his cup of tea anymore. And he couldn't fake it. He could have faked it because it was a lot of women all over him. If he could have faked it and stayed longer and got the tv exposure but i like that he did not fake it and got off the show the show was just not for him as soon as he leaves we see ryan s the other ryan goes to charlene and asks her for a date and i think that's good that he left too because you know maybe ryan s wanted to ask charlene for a date as soon as he came in but he couldn't because he felt a bit uncomfortable so they go on a date and he takes it to a a cactus garden and he's showing how all the different colors of cactuses and how tall they are and how much he knows about them and while he's on the date with her i'm like wow i just never noticed these these different cactuses there are so many different cactuses in different colors and they grow an inch every year that's like i feel like i was on a date too <laughs> so because he was just like so informative about everything so she definitely liked that about her and she charlene is a very aggressive female she's just like outspoken she's just like she knows what she wants um very cougarish but what i realize about her is that she doesn't know when somebody else feels uncomfortable she has more of a male energy I'm not saying she looks she's me i'm just saying she has male energy well it's so dominant and it's so just untimid that she's not realizing sometimes that she comes on too strong because usually a man would be the one just throwing these things at you and not realizing when whoa we're not even at that stage yet why are you even going there like even when she went was on the speed dating she would ask these questions and they're just like out there questions and everybody's like whoa like that's kind of too aggressive too fast like everybody don't like that and i notice a lot of guys don't like females too aggressive they want them a little more timid shy and gentle and she is not that type of person so after they went into the cactus garden he had set up a little romantic coffee setting for her and which was really sweet and instead of her like embracing the thoughtfulness of this date and what he prepared for her and how much thought he put into it and just enjoying the experience she's already wondering about a kiss like they're just getting to know each other she, he's trying to get to know you on a different level uh, mentally and she's more on the physical aspect and that's fine I mean some people love language is just physical first that's all they see you on intimacy first but it seems like a lot of these men on the show because they're younger and they're inexperienced and they're not sure of what they want they do not want to rush into anything charlene yeah she's ready to rush in she's older she has adult kids and she doesn't want to waste any more time that's fine but i think you're on the wrong show so she they're sitting down and drinking coffee and having a trying ryan is trying to have a deep 
in-depth conversation with her and trying to get to know her more and see her personality and stuff like that. And all she's thinking about is like a kiss, wondering about a kiss, wondering about a kiss. And he's just like, um, you know what? I have really have to get people. I really got to get out my shell before I'm like onto the physical aspects of it. And he's like, okay, so we could just, how about we go to the beach, a little place somewhere, a little bit more private, a little bit more romantic. Maybe I could give you a kiss then. So I think she needs to slow down. Charlene is just, I, I don't know what's going on, but she needs to slow down. She's acting a little bit parched, if you know what I mean. She's a little bit extremely too thirsty and it shows, it shows in everything she does. Let me see Ryan, the other Ryan, he goes and he sets up a date for Paula because he's, now that Paula went on a date with Jimmy, he's nervous and he's a very jealous person. So here he goes, he has to one up Jimmy and he got to make sure he, you know, make sure he secures his position with Paula because he's not trying to, have to lose that spot like he did the last girl. So he goes, he sets up a date for her and it's a candlelight dinner by the water. And he tells her, hey, you know what? I noticed that you love to high five. So I did set up a, um, a little canvas and for us to do finger painting. Do you want to finger paint or do you want to eat first? And she was like, no, I want to finger paint. So they were finger painting. They made this little portrait. And she's like, I love it here. And he was, I don't want to leave. And he's like, don't, just stay. So they go, they sit down to eat. And he was like, you know what? The second part of your surprise is that I wrote a song for you. And I also tried to write it in Spanish. And he sings the song. And he also sings it in Spanish. And he's just like, you know what? I really like you. You're beautiful. And he's just rolling in with the compliments. Rolling in with the compliments. I'm not too sure if he really, really likes her. Wait, it could potentially blossom into something else. Or if he's just, it's just physical. Because at first, when he did take her out on that date where they were eating the crickets and stuff, it seemed like it was just a physical thing at that time. So I'm not too sure if he really likes her or if it's just a physical thing. And if he's just trying to secure a spot with somebody or trying to just make a match. But that's how I get off from Jim um, Ryan. He gives her all these compliments and now he does exactly what he planned on to doing, securing his spot and causing confusion in her head because now she doesn't know what to do or who to pick. The next episode, we see the exes are going to come and cause more drama and more confusion. Please join me next week for another rant review of MILF Manor. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and want to be notified the next time I upload a new video.